Hey, what is good, everyone? Today we're gonna be learning seven K-pop MVs. Got dislike storms for shocking reasons. Why do they get dislike storms, bro? I have so many questions. Let's 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 watch for this. For any and give group our to build up their presence in the K-pop map, a well-invested music video on the impactful platform like YouTube is compulsory. Some music videos have actually gained look at YouTube, man, so impactful. huge attention from viewers, but in a negative way. The first music video that has made it to the list is the MV of four- How much would it suck? You put so much effort into a music video, bro. You, you, you script out everything perfectly. You spend so much money on the filming and stuff, bro, and everyone dislikes the night, it. Tonight, released at the end of 2014. From the melody perspective, this song brought up a sweet and enjoyable feeling to listeners. So sweet, However, so it was not by accident that it lied on the list of the most criticized MVs in K-pop. To cut a long story short, the video told a love story where the female intentionally wore revealing clothing to seduce the male. Eventually, they made love. The video triggered viewers not only for the extremely sensitive images, but also for bombarding them with the high frequency of such scenes. Particularly, one third of the video is about the female in her black underwear, exposing her curves and inviting the busy man to make a move. Bro, you never, bro, you never watched a... A, bro, how does WAP have so many likes then, bro? <laughs> what is the entire video, bro? Have you not seen any rap video Then ever? the video tried to deliver an artistic intercourse scene where the male touched his partner all over the place. In the eyes of many netizens, the video had crossed the line of being aesthetic and went on to become a pornographic video. Thus, it shouldn't be published to a mass audience like this. This damn near every Others rap also video. expressed their pity for a good song being turned into an inappropriate video just in exchange for popularity. For a conservative country like Korea, For the Night was absolutely culturally inappropriate. That's why it's not hard to understand why the MV was among the MVs with the highest dislike ratio. About 37.17% with 33,000 dislikes over 56,800 likes. That's not that bad. The second MV to be named is Marionette by Stella. Similarly, this MV received tons of hate for following the same path as For the Night by As One. Because Stella has somewhat established their name in the K-pop industry, this music video has sparked up many arguments ever since the day it was released. For your information, Stella is a girl group that debuted in 2011 and silently disbanded in 2018. Their disbandment not only came down to the vain attempts to survive in the K-pop industry, but also for the mismanagement of their company, The Entertainment. It was heartbreaking to know that the agency had continually forced the girls to expose their body for the sake of popularity and use the contract terms to oblige them. The most obvious example for this exploiting behavior was the way the company managed the production of Marionette. For this MV, the members were told to conduct super arousing dance moves in tight- Hey bro, if any like manager like bro forces people to do that, it's just kind of weird. Swimsuits, stroking and touching their lower body. Like just Moreover, weird according images. to the former leader of the group, her milk drinking scenes were intentionally edited to be sexually provoking, and her member was forced to be literally naked in the bathtub. Since the company did all those dirty editing without Stella's awareness... Bro, they made you drink milk in a seductive way when you didn't want to. Bro, imagine being told that. Bro, imagine being told, oh yeah, you don't want to like purposely spill the milk. Try and make it look... <laughs> for what? For what? The girls only learned about those sexual. Bro, is this, is it, are they run by JYP? Bro, is JYP the conducting the music video himself? As a result, most of they them were JYP traumatized, the and director? one of them couldn't even drink milk for a long time. The music video then ended up receiving tons of harsh criticism for exposing the female. Bro, it scarred them so much they couldn't drink the milk. A body too much. Though the public first put tons of hate on Stella for producing such a disgraceful video and not putting an age restriction on it. The rage quickly aimed at the agency when everyone heard the truth. Bro, it shouldn't be on them. If they want to do that, then that's like, bro. If they, if they, they want to do that, you know what I'm saying? They can go ahead and do that, but... True story but from other the leader. People force them to yeah, do such it, a that's story couldn't like change weird. the way the public looked at the MV because, until now, it still had up to 47,400 dislikes, accounting for 24.55% of the number of likes. The next one on they the like list is like a fun pop song by bad. Momoland, Banana Cha Cha. Is Hello Fresh worth the price? I was expecting Absolutely. to see way more crazy dislikes, but I'm sure we're not gonna get there. I'm sure they're not gonna get there. As what you may expect when hearing the title of the song, it had a yellow banana background, easy to follow choreography, simple outfits with t-shirt and jeans, and the catchphrase banana cha-cha, repeated several times. As a fun song produced for kids, 
Momoland collaborated with one of the most famous cartoon characters, Pororo, to make Banana Cha Cha the film song. There ought to be some undertone. Under Although this song is specifically popular with lyrics. children, it received an oddly massive lyrics. amount of hate from the K pop fans. The first reason came down to the expectation of the public. Since most of them were looking for a seriously invested and mature MV like those Momoland had been offering, oh. they just couldn't stand such a childish and somewhat ridiculous video. The second reason <laughs> oh, could mind. come down to the song being so meaningless. Hence, listeners of higher age found it annoying to listen. Moreover, though the MV was made for kids, it didn't have much colors and fun animations to look at. Instead, it was so plain- Bro, if it's not made for you, then just skip the song and move on. Don't complain that about no it. One just wanted just to watch. don't watch it. Another reason for the MVs being hated was the excessive advertisement of the songs on any videos on YouTube. Though some fans defended Momoland by justifying that the girls weren't at fault because all these things, including the frequency of the ads, were run by the cartoon owner, the MV still faced lots of hate from netizens. Overall, what makes Banana Cha Cha come to the top three of this list is its amount of 51,400 dislikes. That's not even that bad in game! <laughs> accounting for roughly 18.81% of the total likes on YouTube, and the number of criticized comments. That's like a solid like to dislike ratio. Video. Lonely Christmas by Crayon Pop is on the fourth position of this list with 65,600 likes and 14,900 dislikes. Boy, Despite that's not even... a considerable amount of efforts to establish a solid position on the map of K-pop, Crayon Pop impressed the public with nothing but a weird image of the girls wearing helmets. Crayon Pop already frequently drew negative attention for intentionally plagiarizing the concepts, clothing, and even songs of other famous music pieces. The song Lonely Christmas was no exception, since its beginning part was accused by Jcast News of copying the background music of Lupin the Third. Lupin the Third background music. Oh damn, that's actually tough. And they only got that many dislikes? They straight up just stole the beat. Some even found it ridiculous to see Crayon Pop choose to plagiarize one of the most well-known cartoon series in Korea. Besides criticizing the group, some even went further to ask for clarification. However, in response to the accusation, the producer of the song not only denied his wrongdoings, but also stated that he would be crazy to copy such a famous cartoon on purpose. He even fueled the incident by saying that if he had intended to plagiarize, he would have made it hard to recognize. Lonely. Yeah, I actually, no, I actually agree with the producer right there, bro. Like, sometimes, bro, you just come up with a melody, and maybe he heard the cartoon, and then maybe he was just playing around, and he just happened to make something super similar, and then he didn't recognize that it was like that cartoon. Christmas is a simple and light pop MV that anyone could watch. Yet, the cuteness of the girls couldn't cover their unusual video scenes. The meaning of the music video, as well as the takes, remained eccentric. Moreover, the fact that all the girls dressed in Christmas present outfits and having on sparkling helmets was still a sore to the eyes. According to netizens, <laughs> Grandpop did capture their attention at first sight for the unexplainable concept. Not cute, not dark, and also not swag. Yet such insidious attempts to be famous didn't help Grandpop last long because, in time, as people saw no progress in the girls' music, they just didn't care anymore. Yeah, that is a weird concept. Bro, but this is a bad like to dislike ratio right here, bro. <laughs> this is me, bro. 209 likes, 4.5 thousand dislikes, bro. That's a bad like to dislike ratio right there. Bro, I have half as many dislikes as some of these videos and nowhere near as many views, bro. I, like, what is that ratio right there? One in every four people that watched the video disliked it. <laughs> That's a bad like to dislike ratio. Squarespace helped my business grow from a journal to a web more. The next music video getting into the list is Hangover. A Sai has a song song with Snoop Dogg? Music piece produced by two- How can you dislike that? What? Bro, how can you dislike a Sai Snoop Famous Dogg collab? Artist. Sai and Snoop Dogg. I don't even know this song, but that sounds like the greatest thing of all time. After the astonishing success of Gangnam Style, the hitmaker Sai Whoa. seemed to plan for another world domination song by collaborating with Snoop Dogg. However, the MV turned out to be one of the weirdest MVs ever produced. All of Sai's up! All of Sai's music videos are so weird. That's why they're so funny. And all this, everything Snoop Dogg does is kind of weird as well. Basically, the MV told a story of drunk guys trying different Korean cures to get over the adverse consequences of the last booze. 
Not just failing to live up to the critics' expectations. Bro, that sounds like just the perfect music video for Sai the Patience? Snoop Dogg. Sai was also believed to have disowned his Korean identity for making an MV about Korean culture with a foreign artist like Snoop Dogg. Moreover, since Sai had let Snoop Dogg take up most of the proportion of an MV full of Korean spirit, some deemed this as a sign of downgrading the national pride. Unfortunately, not only fans of Psy criticized the MV, but Snoop Dogg's fans also had the same reactions. They regarded his rapping part in Hangover as a total insult to the rap world, and a stain in Snoop Dogg's career. Basically, everything that happened in the MV was a mess. Is it that bad? Whether the rap was intentionally meant to be chaotic or not, all that people saw were two old men trying to look swag on a background of restrooms, females sexualizing the choreography, and tons of other ridiculous elements. <laughs> Bro, that's that it, random! The video created enough heat to bring side nearly half a million dislikes over two million likes. Bro, see that ratio is still ain't that bad. Yeah, regardless of the negative- half a million. It's, it's not- Negative reactions, really both artists lot. seem to really enjoy the MV. Coming up next is another work of Psy with the cringiest name ever. Oppa is just my style. In this MV, he collaborated with the sexy icon of K-pop. Bro, I feel like Psy doesn't care though. Bro, I always feel like Psy is a Tuna. It seemed like standing at the summit of popularity, Psy struggled a lot to create another global phenomenon. In a vain attempt to stir up the world once again, Psy released Oppa is just my style a so-called failed version of Gangnam Style. Since people had had so much of Gangnam Style, they were quite reluctant to receive another release similar to that phenomenal one. Specifically, Oppa is Just My Style eliminated all elements that made Gangnam Style successful. What the MV served was tons of lame scenes and some exactly similar choreographies to that of Gangnam Style. Another reason made Oppa is Just My Style receive so much hate came down to Hyuna. In K-pop, Hyuna was undeniably well known for her bubbly characteristics and beautiful appearance. Yet, her feature in the song put her under a huge rant for the weak vocal capabilities. Some even suggested that the video should cut out all Hyuna singing parts. Though people really appreciate Hyuna's not using autotune, they would rather not hear her sing as her vocal performance greatly contributed to the huge dislike volume of 520 million, which accounted for 16.67%. Or imagine going to the music video and being like, everyone being like, yo, can we just like cut this girl singing? Yeah, bro, the total that bad. <laughs> the final MV on the list is I'm So Hot, another product of Momoland. The single was released with the anticipation that Momoland would serve something new and refreshing for the public. But to everyone's disappointment, I'm So Hot was pretty much another version of Boom Boom, with more bright and joyful elements. Another reason for the MVs receiving so many dislikes on YouTube came down to the rumors of plagiarism. Specifically, just after two days of the song's release, KMAT found out the beat in I'm So Hot was 90% identical to Emergency. Well, you gotta get rid of this producer, you know what I'm saying? The first time... First time, it could be an honest mistake, but the second time, no. A song by Iconopop released four years ago. Bro, the first time, bro, it could be an honest mistake. The second time, bro. Get them out of here, bro. Get, get them it's out of here. <laughs> Absolutely. In the beginning, I was doubtful too. It has been a while now, yet the producer hasn't shown any response. Prior to the release of I'm So Hot, the hatred for the group had actually been growing after their series of scandals. Specifically, the ill attitudes of Momoland towards BTS and TWICE at the 2018 NBC Plus X Genie Music Awards had put them under lots of criticism. Back in the day, when the group walked on stage to receive the title Best Female Dance Performance, they passed two senior groups which were BTS and TWICE, but didn't grieve. On the contrary, Chimin politely bowed to his juniors. All these together formed a solid base you miss? So of polite, anti fans so nice. for the girls, leading to their receiving a hundred. But I don't understand why people would hate for them for that. I feel like that's just a missed opportunity on their part. Hundred seventy-eight thousand dislikes compared to one million likes for the MV "I'm So Hot." That's not, that's not even bad. So, do you think these MVs deserve so much hate like that? Are there any other MVs that should be on this list? Bro, these dislikes aren't even that bad. I was below. expecting something also, juicy. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bboss TV because we will come back with more interesting videos. Bro, I was expecting Thank something you for like watching. Baby. Bro, how many dislikes does Justin Bieber Baby? What's the... See, that has almost 50-50 dislikes, likes to dislikes, and it was a lot worse at one stage. 
You know what I'm saying? Or something like Cams. <laughs> From June Flurry X this track. Oh, what a beautiful like to dislike ratio, man. I think this is honestly my proudest piece of work ever, man. <laughs> hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'm out. See ya.